Okay. Are we back? Maybe, maybe. Do we have audio? Uh, I have no idea. So I do. Hey, hey. Okay, so I have no idea what's going on. Um, the internet dropped out uh, and was insisting that it was like connected by a network, which I assume is because I have my phone plugged in using it for the thing and then OBS shit itself entirely. Uh, and not only that, it updated itself at the same time and then uh, <laughs> the entire thing just crapped itself which was super cool. OBS is a software that you use to stream. So I'm using the stream elements overlay for OBS. Um, bloody hell. So it like force updated when the network dropped, which was really unhelpful. I can try plugging in my phone again to see if we can get the overhead camera but I'm not 100% sure it's gonna work so we might have to do something else but how about we'll take the stretch break real quick because I'm gonna have to move stuff around anyway Ugh. why is wait I can just flick these differently at least then they will be plugged into the correct things you need a stretch stretch you've been crafting for over an hour yes we are live hopefully okay let me just that's a little bit better i don't want to select what happens with my damn iphone take no action yes just take no action okay we're gonna stretch break and then i'm gonna try the phone camera again and if it kicks us again we'll know that it's the phone camera that's a problem uh and we'll we'll do something else the other thing i realized is we might not be able to play story of seasons if i have to be on this internet because it has to be on the slow internet for the ds to hook up which may be a problem but okay okay i'm gonna stretch break then i'm gonna eat some stupid beans because you guys hate me for some reason. <laughs> then we'll figure out a plan. Figure out a damn plan. Okay. Oh, I shouldn't leave the UV light on that long, should I? Okay. I'm gonna turn, turn the UV light off. Okay. Stretch break. Okay. Oh, and I see your um, bracelet, Briya. That's very pretty. I love the moon charm. Okay. Eh, eh. Cute dress. Thank you. Selena got it for me. This was a dress that we were using for our Barbie collaboration thingy that we were going to film the other week. Okay, okay. Let's eat a bean, then we'll try the camera hookup. This is punishment for me for for the crappy stream, which seems unfair, really, because because you know I was doing my best. I went to Michael's craft store and picked up a bunch of stuff. Is is beating your main craft? Okay, so the flavors are liver and onions, cappuccino. Old bandage, pomegranate, rotten egg, buttered popcorn, stink bug, toasted marshmallow, bath, peach, dirty dish water, birthday cake, booger, juicy pear, toothpaste, berry blue, sticky socks, tutti frutti, dead fish, and strawberry banana smoothie. Yes, old bandage. See? Why would you want, to, want me to do this? What is wrong with you guys? 
I started out just making tons of beaded bracelets, but now I'm doing wire wrapping too. I do not like these beads. Come on, old bandage. Yeah, they're gross. Why are you doing this to her? Why are you doing this to me? Strawberry banana smoothie sounds okay. Well, that one. Oh, come on, the fucking ads. Hang on, can I? Yeah, okay, I snoozed the ads for five minutes. We've got five minutes to do this. Did we do an outfit check and I missed it? Yes, you did. Okay, I'm gonna get James to pick it, so I'll show you the outfit again, because I don't want responsibility for this disgustingness. Here we go, here we go. Outfit with a side of attitude. Thank you. I love strappy dresses with t-shirts on them. Me too. Not bath. That one is disgusting. Or blouses. I'm gonna need something to spit this into. Okay, I have paper towel. We're good. Okay, so he gave me the blue one, which is either toothpaste or berry blue. I'm gonna be honest, both of those sound gross to me, but we're gonna do it anyway. It's toothpaste. Mmm, <laughs> yummy. Minty fresh. It's not that bad. It's not good, but it's not that bad. So many, how many of these have you had then? Also, I agree, Rosie. Anything that has like a nice blouse or a shirt under it, I'm like all for. Another one. Am I the only one that finds toothpaste disgusting? No, I agree. Toothpaste is disgusting. I had bubblegum toothpaste ones. That was acceptable. Ugh. I've had almost all of them. Are you using them for punishments or just because you, you enjoy punishing yourself? Because I could believe either of those, to be honest. Okay, I'm going to try plugging the phone in again. And we're going to see if it works. And if it does work, we'll go on with crafting. And if it doesn't work then I don't even know. If it doesn't work, should I switch internet? I did it on a YouTube video in like 2015. Oh my God, why would you do that to yourself? <laughs> I'm already regretting just doing it now. And that wasn't even that bad of a flavor. Um, okay, so if the stream crashes again, should I switch internet so that we can do story of season? Somehow this doesn't surprise me, Mandy. <laughs> I am also very not surprised. Ah, uh, maybe it's because personal hotspot is on. Okay, did the stream just die then? Predictably unpredictable. <laughs> I'm very predictable. Is it dead? No, we're still here? Okay, okay. Let me see if this works then. Okay, it looks like it's working. Let me put the camera back up. Ah, oh, fuck, how did I do this? Okay, it needs to be behind that cable. Ah, sticky stuff everywhere. What a jazzy song. Okay, let's see how the placement is. Mm -mm. Hey, that's not bad, okay. That's acceptable. Okay, are we still here? <laughs> Everything seems like it's okay. I don't think drop frames yet and the CPU is not going nuts. So this this working? We good? We good? We good? Someone tell me we good. Otherwise, I'm starting to get concerned. We bad? No. 
No. Ah, fuck you guys. Yeah, well, I'm not going to snooze this ad break now. You could all just sit there and watch ads. We good? Yeah. Bailey's the only kind person out of all of you. The rest of you can get fucked. I'm subbed. I'm fine. <laughs> Excuse me. I did not ask for beans. True. You're all bad, but in different ways. How's that? <laughs> okay. We're going back to gluing stuff now. I'm going to have to get a new desk mat after this, I think. I should have taken the entire thing uh, apart. Why did I not take the entire thing off? Yet another example of Violet's poor time management and planning fucking over a stream. <laughs> I remember me saying no beans. I tried to pour myself some pumpkin bev, but Chobani did me bad. No pumpkin to it. And it just tastes like a mouthful of spices to me. Ew. Bleh. I'm going to be honest. I don't think I like pumpkin spice things. It's getting thrown out. I just think, uh, I don't know. I had a pumpkin spice latte one time when we were in Hawaii and A, it was really gross uh, and B, it just tasted like sugar to me. Sugar with like, I don't know, grossness. But I also hate cinnamon, so maybe that's the problem. I want real pumpkin in there. That would do it. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what... Like, we don't have pumpkin spice as a flavor here. We actually don't have a lot of flavors that you guys have. Cinnamon is also a, not a very con common flavor in the same way it is in America. Like, cinnamon gum and stuff like that, we do not have that here at all. The first time when I was a kid at a wedding, one of the uncles who was attending the wedding when no, actually it was an aunt the aunt who was there had uh, a special friend as he was described <laughs> who was from Canada and who bought uh, cinnamon gum over with him and was very popular with all the children at the wedding because we were like what the fuck is this <laughs> Oops, wait, are we dead again? Or are we giggling at the fact that he was described as a friend? <laughs> a very special friend. The special friend. <laughs> Before we started officially dating, James once introduced me as his lady friend to someone. <laughs> <laughs> that did not go down well. <laughs> with me or with the, with her. She was like, what the fuck did you just call her? I would lose my marbles. <laughs> I was planning on asking you out that night. I couldn't presume. Sure you were. Sure you were. <laughs> That's right! Oh, James! It was literally an hour before asking her out. I mean, that sounds like a you problem, not a me problem. I don't want to be introduced as a lady friend uh, at any point in time, thank you. I had stuff set up and everything. That's fair, he did have stuff set up. Just simply say this is Violet? Yeah! I'm shocked she said yes after that. <laughs> this is my favorite story because James gets roasted every fucking time. Uh, 
Yeah, so the the lady that he was introducing me to uh, was delightful and had a lot less tact than I had. I didn't say anything at the time, but she was like, the fuck? What'd you just call her? I would introduce a girl as this is my companion model G6005. Cute, right? <laughs> Introducing you to a lady, too. I know, right? She was hilarious, though. She told him right off. Luckily. Ah, thank you. <laughs> what stuff? My body just replied to me with an email. Oh, <laughs> uh, thank you guys. Um, yeah, luckily, luckily, he managed to save it. The rest of the night was pretty good. Pretty good. I mean, I did get crushed in the mosh pit a little bit. So that was less good. But the rest of it was pretty good. You sneeze how the villagers sneeze in Animal Crossing? <laughs> Thanks? <laughs> I don't know if that's a compliment or not. <laughs> She's actually from Animal Crossing? She escaped? Yeah, don't tell anyone. They'll maybe go back to the island. I don't like the island. They went harder that gig. Way harder than people that age should. Accurate. Okay, if I'm an animal from Animal Crossing, then which species am I? <laughs> yeah, that's right. What are my likes and dislikes? Create me as an Animal Crossing character, I dare you. Yeah, that was the Necromantics, right? That we saw that night. Yeah, aren't you lucky? I don't even like them that much. <laughs> Half the audience was over 40. Well, that was true, but also, they fucking didn't punch like they were over 40. I feel like I need more sensory ASMR with a simple low-key crafting cam. Oh, I'm sorry, hang on. How's that? Is that doing it for you? Like little <laughs> wrong mic for this. If I turn it up all the way, it can pick up pretty well, but then I'll be super loud. You need more. <laughs> you need one of the ones that make it sound cozy. Hey, watch streak for Bailey. You are superior. <laughs> I love finger scratches. Good ASMR. What kind of finger scratches? I feel like I probably just need to mess with the settings to make it sound cozier. The ones you just did. I'm on a five stream streak too. Nice, nice. We'd love to see it. Okay, let's glue some more of these suckers together so we can actually do something with them. On the chalkboard. <laughs> yeah, this, this isn't the ASMR stream. This is the, the what's the opposite of ASMR? <laughs> what's styrofoam? Ugh. Susie is the devil. Hang on. Let me open my... Where's my microphone settings? Here, yeah, here. Yeah. RMSA. I'm gonna turn the mic gain all the way up and see if you can hear all of the like irritating sounds. We're being very quiet now. 
so that Rosie is the ASMR. It's not creepy, it's just kind of weird. I'm turning you back down now. <laughs> now type? Okay, hang on, hang on. No breathing into the mic. That's pretty good. I'm jealous of your, the keys you and Bailey have. I like the clicky click. Hey, we can do, I can set it up. It started muting your keyboard on oh, no. there. We can, uh, I can set up an actual ASMR streak if you guys want to do that. And I'll just, I'll not talk the entire time. Oh, fuck. This cable is such a hazard. But your voice is ASMR. <laughs> I don't think that's true. I think many people would disagree with that statement heavily. Lottie treat is ASMR. Okay, do you want me to turn the mic up all the way and then she can come and sniff? Be careful of the glue. Oh, hang on. Bailey asked the question before. Um, what was it? What was it? Is resin something you're supposed to wear protective equipment for or is UV resin safer? Uh, I think UV resin is safer because it's effectively, it's the stuff that you would use as gel nail polish, just like a harder, slightly stronger kind of it. I wouldn't put it on bare skin. That's a terrible idea. Definitely don't put it on your bare skin, especially when you're curing. Um, but, but yeah, I don't know. I don't, it's, I think it's not that bad. There's no like fumes or anything from it, which is good. Regular resin definitely has fumes. I still don't think you should put it on your skin, but you know, it cures pretty immediately. So Violet's voice is not ASMR and I'm thankful for that. With resin, you're supposed to have heavy duty mask on with open windows. Yeah, there's no warnings on it or anything and it doesn't have fumes so decently. Because you aren't mixing chemicals, they're pre-mixed. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no mixing. It's already, it's it's not a two-part resin. It's just a single UV resin. It costs about 20 bucks for one this size. And it's hard type, so it, it cures to be completely solid. A streamer I watch, I always fall asleep. I mean, it's about Sims 4, but his voice is soothing. That sounds nice. James, uh, are you able to get Lottie for treat time? Hang on, I'm gonna turn, I'm turning the, the mic up so Lottie can sniff it for you guys. Be ready. Oh, hang on. If I did a stream, that's what I would want to do. Just read bedtime stories and bore people talking about tea. There's a YouTube channel I watch where they use two-part resin. I always see them wearing masks. So I was wondering about this type of resin. Ah, fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> Lottie, Lottie's ASMR videos where she just sniffs at you and then is mildly judgmental. Okay, we'll glue the rest of these and then we'll do some more 
stuff. Uh, we'll do the actual resin pot so you can see what I mean. These ones I'll just put to the side because uh, we can do those another time. So what, Lottie's going to start her own ASMR channel now? We usually, to get to sleep, just watch old episodes of Friends. So many old episodes of Friends. Or just sitcoms in general. 90s sitcoms. It works well, though. I'm usually asleep. I like the first one. Sometimes the second one. Oh, why do I have an uneven number of these? Okay, do one more. My partner and I have been watching One Piece a lot. It's very comforting for a shonen show. I love it so far. I have not watched One Piece at all. It seems like such a huge commitment. Pritika loves it though. Yeah, I'm I'm like daunted uh, by the idea of 70 billion seasons of something. There's a list online of which episodes you can skip. We skip non-canon arcs. Wait, why are there non-canon arcs? <laughs> that sounds scary. I've been watching Scott Pilgrim Netflix series and I'm loving it so far. Is it good? We watched the, the movie again, like last weekend. And I, um, I always forget that it's pretty good. Because they write extra stuff while they waited for the anime to catch up. Ah, okay. Fair enough. So much filler, like in Naruto and Sailor Moon. Is it new? I remember the movie from a while ago. Yeah, yeah. It's a new version. I read the synopsis for it, actually, and I kind of liked the direction they went. Because, obviously, the comics are different. But I always thought it was a bit meh in the movie that uh, all of the exes were dealt with, like they were her exes, but it was on Scott to do the dealing with it, kind of. And I feel like, you know, the whole point of the comic was supposed to be that they're both shitty people and need personal growth. I meant while they wait for the manga to catch up with the anime. Yeah, that makes sense. The original cast from the movie voices all of the characters in the Netflix show. Really? Scott is kind of a bad person, so I kind of like that he's in there. Yeah. Yeah. Scott is a bad person. <laughs> like, especially, like, re-watching it now. The entire movie, I was just like, wow. That guy sucks. And everyone says that he sucks over and over and over again. Like, what a shitty person he is. But it's just, like, it's funny that it's so blatantly there. But there are still people who take it as, like, Scott is in the right. Dating a fucking 16-year-old. Not a, like, obviously everyone around him makes a big deal about that, but... Uh, uh, but I also feel like... Everyone knows a Scott Pilgrim. <laughs> Especially from that time period, like, it captures that time period so well. I feel like I personally knew many Scott Pilgrims. <laughs> And the rest of them, too. It's a very good case study in, in like, I don't know, that time period. Time capsuling. Why is this? Oh, it's, like, fallen over a bit. There we go. Okay. Now we are going to attempt to do this again. Which is the, okay, that's, that's the good side. Michael Sarah does such a good job playing a character you just want to hate. Right? He's got, he's, like, the George Michael vibes from um, Arrested Development really carried me, even though I wanted to punch him in the face. I could use some gentle fun times. Life is really, really beating me up. Oh no, I'm so sorry you're having a hard time. Is there anything you want to talk about? 
Did you see the Facebook movie with him in it? The Facebook movie? Oh, you mean, I think that's Jesse Eisner, right? Especially in This is the End. Yeah, <laughs> he was really punchable in that. Okay, I won't turn the lamp on until we've got a couple of them ready. I'm just thinking I'm probably going to have to put them in one at a time. Usually I just put them on this and then put them all in at once. But I'm not going to be able to do that because the cable is like in the way. <laughs> what? I thought it was Michael Sarah. I know they look quite similar, right? Michael Sarah, Jesse Eisner, and what's the dude from Fantastic Beasts? Eddie Redmayne? They all look similar. The social network? Yeah, Michael Sarah and Jesse Eisenberg look similar. Living in poverty, trying to get what little enjoyment I can, but feel so guilty because I'm not meeting my obligations and it's stressful. Fought capitalism indeed. I agree with that. Too much life stresses. You just got to take the the good times when you can because there are not that many of them. Ani Haver is in that movie too. Shivers. Oh my god. I think I know why you're shivering. <laughs> that Ani Haver stuff is something else, huh? Seeing them side by side, I can see facial differences, but similar hair and build. Yeah, and they both play kind of like nerdy characters, but Michael Sarah's characters are usually like kind of like lovably nerdy, whereas Jesse Eisner, I think, usually plays like less lovable nerdy characters and more like just the straight up tools. They're not the same person? <laughs> no. I'm still bitter about the Army House stuff because I actually really enjoyed uh, Man from Uncle. And now we're never going to get a sequel to that, are we? Evil nerds. Yeah, evil nerds. Okay. I think there's probably too much on that. Mm, let's see. Maybe I should... I probably should just like... Better to overdo it than underdo it. Yeah, you know, there's a real difference between lovable nerds and evil nerds. Oh, shit, shit. There we go. Turn it around, turn it around. Come on, we can do this. No air gaps, please. Okay. Let's try putting this in. We're gonna, like, fucking finish one of these at least. Not your fault. I hope things get better soon. Remember there are people making six figures still struggling and it's hard if it's hard for them, it's impossible for you. System is messed up. Even upper middle class people can get messed up with medical bills or can't afford houses. Hugely broken. Everyone at every income level should have a home, healthcare, food without having to stress. Everyone deserves luxuries. I fully fucking agree with that. Absolutely preach, Rosie. The world is broken and people at every possible level are struggling. So my feeling is take what you can when you can because the world won't give you shit. Claw your happiness. <laughs> Rip it. Rip it from from anywhere that you possibly fucking can. Get your nails done. Get your fucking lattes. Exactly. Why the fuck shouldn't you get something nice just because you've got, you know, other things going on? No amount of nails and lattes buys you a house. Accurate. I watched the Facebook movie not that long ago and it's frustrating how aspirational I tried to make it. Ew. I watched it ages ago. I honestly don't remember anything about it except for like that scene where the twins are like on a rowing machine. I just remember thinking how stupid that looked. You don't have a house? Stop getting Starbucks then. Literally, fuck all of that. Fuck everything. Like, it's the thing there, but like, I feel so guilty about enjoying anything. Which is absolute bullshit. I wish not having... Wait, hang on. I have to pay back my landlord, but I have to spend over $200 more a month on food and meds. Things are expensive before I can manage to afford anything. And he's getting upset. Yeah, I wish not having Starbucks would make a difference if I could get a house or not.
wait, my happiness is wearing hoodies and sweaters all day, every day. Damn straight. You deserve the softest ones that fit nicely. That's the thing, right? I feel like, I mean, like the whole fucking message of Garland is supposed to be finding joy and happiness in like the little things, but it's so hard sometimes. It's hard to enjoy the little things when there are so many big things. But you got stuff. I thought for a long time. Uh, right, right, right. Canada. Treated myself to chamomile tea bags this week. Oh, that sounds nice. What kind did you get, Susie? Inflation here is fucking nuts right now. Okay, okay. We've got one. I left the, the, the thingy on it, so we'll peel it off at the end. But I'll do the stuff on the other side now. Let's cut the extra stuff off. And we'll, we'll cut it real close so that we can do a nice proper one this time. Okay, yeah, I definitely put too much on there. And now this is moving. That's not ideal. Maybe I'm going to have to leave them overnight to fully dry. Oh, no, that sucks. Okay. Bad idea. We're going to have to do this over multiple days. <coughs> <coughs> I need to get more. I love with vanilla. I love the yellow one with honey, vanilla, chamomile. That's the best one. But I'm not buying it right now because it's like fucking $8. It used to be $4 before the pandemic. So I am on strike. Whatever was on sale. The little twinings box. I'm purist. The whole chamomile is so good, but it doesn't say fresh long, sadly. It just starts like tasting of dust. <laughs> Canada is so desperate to be the US, they cut the hell out of our medical care, and now the system is destroyed. Yeah. That's Australia, too, to be honest. Australia is heading that way, and it sucks. Very much Lee sucks. Inflation here has gotten, I mean, like most of our grocery bills have basically doubled at this point. The American dream is a scam, right? Even if it wasn't a scam, I don't want that. <laughs> I just don't want it. I want the Australian dream. We already had it and it was pretty okay. But everything just keeps getting worse. Ugh. I cannot... Okay. Maybe we just keep, can keep gluing stuff together. I don't know, guys. What do you want to do? <laughs> Inflation sucks here, too. I've gotten more creative with trying to make cheaper dinners. Lots of ground turkey, chicken legs. I would do meatless if my partner was willing. Eating out is the same price as groceries. Yeah. I mean, like, McDonald's is, like, fucking 40 bucks now. It's McDonald's. Come on, man. I partner works for a grocery store, so 20% off. That That is a lot. New Leaf. There's a reason I'm hustling pet portraits at the moment. Zach's contract at work got unexpectedly cancelled, and the savings went to Penny's bills. No! Oh, Susie, I'm so sorry. Well... Can I, can I show your Etsy yet? <laughs> I can just show it on stream and then um, then I can put it in the Discord properly later. Yeah, you can't get a meal for under 10 bucks at McDonald's here now? No. Same. Yes, I have it finished. Okay, okay. We're going to look at Susie's um, Etsy. Okay. You put it in the Discord. Seven hundred stream pings from me. Okay, hang on, hang on. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, uh, browser. I 
I'm impressed already. I haven't seen it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So this is Susie's Etsy. Uh, she runs a Sun Patch Society and she makes beautiful cards uh, that are both hilarious. Uh, I'll show you the cards in a minute. But these are her pet portraits. Are they not freaking adorable? Oh, this one's named Bailey. And Miles. Max. Aww. So I, I bought one for Lottie this morning. So I am looking forward to that very, very much. Or so you can add extra pets. I don't ship the cards overseas. It's too confusing. So do you do hamsters? Okay, this is freaking adorable. And you can do um, physical ones too, right? But you don't ship the physical ones after uh, overseas. <laughs> this could be your pet. <laughs> is this what you were drawing today? <laughs> okay, I, I want to, I know that you don't ship these overseas, but I want to show them your cards anyway, because they're awesome. My personal favorite is, where is the crow one? Okay, this, this looks cute. Excited for your hopes and dreams. Devastated that you're leaving, going away, God. Aww. Uh, yeah, 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 the magpie one. That's what I drew while you were streaming. Yeah, the magpie one is my favorite one. I'm just going to go to all. There it is. The love and friendship section. See, is this not the best card ever? I will bring you the eyes of your enemies. I bought this one. I bought like three of them one Christmas and gave them out <laughs> to people. But I kept one for me. <laughs> you can show the Etsy on my Instagram. Okay, okay. Instagram.com slash Susie SC. Okay, I'll show, show this one. Also, only a little violent. Violet connect order corrected to violet the first time. Coincidence, I think not. <laughs> well, I mean, if the shoe fits, right? Okay, and one one more while we're here. I also have this, um, this notebook of Susie's is also fantastic. You will never know my secrets. Feelings are special private things. Get away. <laughs> quality. 10 out of 10 quality. Okay. I can personally vouch that this notebook is awesome and the pages are very nice. Okay. The ad is over apparently. So let's look at the Instagram now. So this is Susie's Instagram uh, and she makes these beautiful comic books, but don't read that one because it made me cry. Um, beautiful comics. <laughs> and she does a lot. Oh, won't let me scroll any further. That's really unfair. I guess because I'm not logged in. I discontinued the notebooks. Ah, oh, well, there's still a couple in your shop, so get them before before she fully discontinues them. I lost my pineapple sock. I hope I can find it. Oh, your pineapple sock? Just one? If you find it, you have to send sock pics. That's how it works. Okay, so in conclusion, everyone now on Instagram should go follow Susie uh, at Susie Essie. S-U-S-I-E underscore E-S-S-E. -S -E. Um, and also Sunpatch Society. For cards and things. 
super cute. Also, Susie, your cards are sold online too. So you should put the link to that um, in, in the Discord. I thought it got split up being two rounds of laundry. No one has to feel obligated to follow. Yeah, they do. I, I demand everyone feel obligated and follow Susie. Now that I'm almost done folding, I only see one lone pineapple sock. Oh, sad. Violet gifted me some of your notebooks and I love them. Oh, I did give you some. <laughs> I put my important socks in laundry bags. I'm not that organized. James is always like, ooh, use the special laundry bag. Use the underwear bag. And I'm like, shove it in. Shove that stuff in. If it doesn't survive, it's like battle fucking royale in there. Too late. I already followed liked and shared, Susie. <laughs> okay, so if I have to leave these things overnight uh, for, for the glue to dry before I can actually finish the resining, that's really annoying. But I guess we can do something else. Is it still in the washing machine? Oh, good point. Our washing machine loves eating socks. And then it gets clogged and then it throws a little tantrum about it later. And it's like, uh, error E6 or whatever. I will send pics. Oh, a pineapple sock discovered in my fluffy blanket. Nice. Yeah, that's right. You send those sock pics. Okay, are we playing DS games now? If we're playing DS games, A, I have to clean off all of this crap, but B, if we are playing DS games, oh, I should, okay, I won't put the rubbish in the same thing. That would be a silly idea, wouldn't it? If we're playing a DS game, then I might need to switch internet, which might make the stream drop for a few seconds, but we'll see might be able to like get away with it next question I don't know man what else you guys want to do? sent the sock pick to happy little things okay okay Ooh. yeah okay they're pretty friggin cute They do look very happy, okay? Is there anything you guys want to do with this camera setup before I move everything around? Hand chime. <laughs> Speaking of socks and camera setups, you want me to put my feet up on the desk, you pubs? Spill the resin some more? Uh, I mean, I guess I could. I'm already going to throw this out. I want to have a nail stream sometime. We can do that. We can probably... Why don't we do that the day uh, or the week before I go to Japan? Because I'll have to do my nails one more time and I'm going to make it good. So why don't we do a nail stream uh, 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 that week, which I think would be on like the 15th. I can't remember. Okay, I'm going to get all, get rid of this rubbish and move stuff off the desk. You've got until I get back to think about anything else you want to see in this desk setup, you pubs.
children look away. Pair of puffs. Violet, you need to clean the resin. Uh, it's it's too late. It's so, it has soaked in, and there ain't nothing that can be done about that now. I can't hear you, but sock. Did you get resin on your sock? <laughs> no. <laughs> what? And then maybe I'll cure this. That way, yeah, problem solved. I will cure it, and now it will be all hard. I am literally going to have to throw away the desk mat, so hopefully I can find uh, something decent. I'm going to double check my socks now because you guys make me paranoid. No, there are no, there is no resin on my socks. They're just old and need replacement. Am I the only one who waits till the last possible minute to do laundry? Uh, no, that's also us. <laughs> I'm like, I have no underwear left. I guess we should probably do laundry. There we go. Doing laundry with time to spare is like my form of self-care. Ah, <laughs> oh, go away, spam callers. I'm not answering. Laundry is a whole affair because I have things I need to air dry. Usually a bit of dry cleaning. Ah, okay. Are we ready to say goodbye to the this setup now? Let me put you back on chat. Oh, okay. Before before we go, I will show you my DS. Is it not? Super cute. Oh, yeah, look at that custom paint job that I did. It's so 90s. Pretzels. I have all my folded laundry picked in a tiny corner of my closet because the closet is full of boxes that I might need later. I got a cute case for my Switch. You did that? Yeah, hell yeah. Is that Ziggy's DS? No, it's not Ziggy's DS. It's cool Violet's DS. We spent a really long time learning how to spray paint so she could make this, actually. Yeah, look at that shit. Quality. Okay. I'm switching you to chat so I can undo this setup and move the stupid cables. Oh, fuck. Farewell, phone cam. The <laughs> way Violet was so offended at the implication that it was Ziggy's DS. <laughs> I'm not that fucking old. I am a solid medium old, thank you. Ziggy was is old enough that he should be an adult during my childhood, thank you. A solid medium old. <laughs> Okay, let's put this stupid thing away so that we can get the DS hooked up. Where are you at? Cables. Rosie's bingo. What is going on now? Something bad has happened. What did... Oh, it's so loud. The mic gain is all the way up. Okay. That's better. Uh, what again did we say about community night? Are we doing stream instead? I just don't remember and I'm sorry. Don't want to miss it. Very loud. Okay. How are we doing now? Did 
this is a normal level of loudness. My noise is not working anymore. It's a normal level. Good, good, okay. Gonna get the DS set up now. I wonder why the music's dead. Oh well. Hopefully the DS music will work once I get that hooked up. Okay. No, I'm not gonna system update. Okay, you guys gonna need to entertain yourselves for a minute while I find out what I did with it. Okay. I can't stop sending sock pics. <laughs> I have so many cool socks, but I need more. I feel like I don't really have any cool socks. I only have the cat ones. That's why you guys need to tell me what socks to buy uh, in Japan. Okay, those fluffy ones that you sent are very cute. Okay, I'm going to switch internet really quick. Hopefully it doesn't knock us out. But if it does, I'll be back in two seconds. 